if you think about us, when we build systems across our enterprise, which settle $20 trillion every day with a peak velocity of $22 billion a second, we have extremely strong engineers who can build all of these capabilities, right? at massive parallel scale, at massive performance with a high level of resilience and so forth. So we have optimized, we have engineers who optimize that every microsecond of a particular transaction. Now, the question then is, so they, those engineers were trying to solve a very different type of problem, but they had it within them. So now the question is, how do we align them in terms of optimizing something else? At the end of it, everything is a goal function or a loss function, and you're trying to optimize uh, that. So we have some of those distinguished engineers that within our organization that we leverage. Second is the subject matter expertise. You mentioned we have been, we are the first bank in the United States. We have been here for 240 years, and we were there when the when the checks were processing, we were there when the wires were getting processed and now the real-time payment. So we know what our clients need and the subject matter and sometimes the history actually helps you understand, discern what was different and so forth. So those are two of our assets plus the fact that we have access to our clients. But then we also know that we do not need talent to build the core infrastructure. Like we are going to depend upon the big techs to provide some of those capabilities. We're going to depend upon specialist companies like yourself who are solving a very niche problem, but a very important problem. Because while everybody's focusing on the large language models, the problem is not the large language models. The large language models will be in the realm of there will be some solutions and there'll be some open sources and so forth. It's how do you develop your data now alex i'm perhaps picking up a couple of lines from perhaps i've been talking a lot to you but how do you develop the data right because how do you fall in love with your data i think because we say data is our biggest asset but then how do you fall in love with it how do you store it index it tokenize it vectorize it and create distances and i i think the opportunity set of that is just amazing and how do we depend upon talent who upgrade themselves to take advantage of that. That is our biggest thing. Beyond that, we are absolutely looking to hire some great, specifically masters and PhD students who can continue on understanding the domain, work with our teams, and really uh, work on hyperparameter tuning or you know different ways in which we can position our data to get the best value out of a large language model or just solve practical problems. So very excited about that.